Oh God, that was my butt. Hi. <laughs> okay. I was trying to work through, um, what is it? The streaming labs. And I got this all set up last night uh, to be able to do this because I'm, I'm hoping to be able to craft things in here and show you stuff while I'm working on it. Anyway, um, hold on. Uh, I think we actually are live. Yay, hi! Nikki, you're the first hello. Cool, thank you guys for being in chat because that actually lets me know like that this is all working. So good, and the right camera's working and yay. Okay, let me shut off some things that I don't need to see because it's, it's hiding your chat and I want to see your guys' chat. I don't want to hold inappropriate messages. I trust all of you guys. Hi. Okay. Um, so story goes, um, I always wanted to try shopping. I mean, there's, there is goodwill online. And I was like, whoa, 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 how I can shop thrift stores online. What? Cool. And I didn't really get into doing this until having a reason, like a new character that I was thinking might, oh, play the violin because I kind of like playing the violin. And I usually end up having my characters during, after the big old battle, you know, I'm one of those assholes who brings a like instrument and, you know, we all sing and stuff. Um, so, do 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 chicken. Hi. Yay, thank you. Hidden, Hidden Creek, hi. Thank you, I'm glad you like them. Um, I'm glad you like my videos. Okay, back to the story. I'm so distracted, it's okay. <laughs> this is why we edit videos. Um, so, uh, yes, so having a violin for a LARP, which, you know, I'm usually very protected of, of my violins when they go to LARP. Yes, I did say violins, I might have a problem. Those are only two of my three violins that I have. Um, and, uh, so I decided my next character for Apocalypse 47, which I'm super excited about, um, I'm also going to do a from the beginning of design to end finish, uh, creation, concept to creation, um, like video on that, but I decided let's share doing the violin thing. Um, so... I went on to shopgoodwill.com auctions, is I believe what the address was. I may fix that in the comments or something down below if this video gets saved. Um, so uh, anyway, I wanted another violin that was a like really shoddy German violin. I happen to really like German violins. Oh, look, my wife is saying, oh, hi. Hi, wife. Hello, wife. Um, so, hold on, long thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, apocalyptic LARPs are kind of hard to come by. Um, also, um, high fantasy LARPs right now are kind of the rare thing right now in Southern California because it kind of was the thing everybody was doing, but now all the high fantasy LARPs are either shutting down and there are a few left. So if anybody wants to start high fantasy LARPs, that'd be great because I really like playing those. Hi, wife. Okay, back to it. <laughs> um, there was another violin that got away. For now, it will always be the one that got away. It was a beautiful German violin. I almost got for like, I was really hoping for 30 bucks. I got outbid, I, my, my, my bid was 40 because I have walked into thrift stores before and found like half size violins for 40. And I was like, hey, I don't need a violin now. Why would I need a violin? So I never picked one up. Um, and so this time I specifically went on the auctions for Goodwill and I looked for a violin. I really wanted this other vintage, really shoddy one. I mean, there was the back on it was half, almost half missing. <laughs> and uh, I thought that was okay because I, what I was gonna do with the violin would actually build the back back up. And I, would, I wouldn't feel that bad 
um, messing with a vintage German violin because um, I really plan on heavily modding this thing. This is a post-apocalyptic. I mean, what are we going to do with a post-apocalyptic violin? Um, so that's the other thing that's going to be interesting, uh, that this, this setting takes place in a post-apocalyptic world that the 80s happened, and they kind of continued to happen for a while, and then the apocalypse happened. So, and it's like, I think, 100 or so years later. And, uh, but we're all kind of stuck in the eighties mentally, I guess. I don't know. Um, okay. So let's get to the, the box, the box, the big old box. that's exciting. I have been waiting all day for this. Like no kidding. Not just all day. Okay. I've been, I've been watching my email and looking out the window. Let me check in. Cool. All right. Um, this violin came from. Um, oh yeah, the other cool thing about this violin, I, I won it for $12. I won a violin for $12. Yeah, uh, sure, I could go on um, on like eBay or and get one of those really cheap brand spanking new ones that sounds horrible. I, I, don't, I, I don't want to take a violin that is awesome or mod a violin that is too awesome to mod that I would feel guilty if I screwed up. Um, but also, I don't want to play a violin that I hate playing. So I wanted to make sure that I found a violin that I would love. Uh, I, I stuck with the German, because I freaking love, again, German violins. Um, this one, uh, I did some research. I went on YouTube, and I plopped in the specific, it's a um, Mendini Celio. And I don't know if it's the V300 or what number it really is. Honestly, you can get it brand spanking new on Amazon for $67, I believe. But it has actually a very good review by a uh, someone who teaches violin. And I actually have seen several of her videos and I respect uh, what, she, what she does in her opinion. And I even listened to it and it was not horrible. Like I could do this. And also then I wouldn't feel bad screwing up a $12 violin, basically. Sure, shipping was 30, let's not talk about that. But still in the end, it was around 40 bucks to get this violin, which is rad. Um, yeah, there it is. It came from Minnesota. Goodwill Easter Seals in Minnesota, shopgoodwill.com. They have auctions and yeah, you can, the exciting eBay Goodwill version of, of things. All right, for real, let's get this going. Let's get this going. Oh, the other, the other catch to this violin, it didn't come with a bow. That's okay because I have bows galore. As a fiddle player, I have lots of bows. Um, but what's really rad is um, my parents found a violin at an estate sale for 20 bucks. Yes, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. That's this one here. Um, and this bow came with that $20 violin. Um, this one I, I tricked out and uh, made it electric. So with my band, I can actually plug in and still have a, like, a period looking violin if I need, or, you know, at least an acoustic, but electric violin. Um, but it came with this bow with no hair. And uh, so I took it upon myself to look up YouTube videos, of course, about how to re hair a, a bow. So I'm, I'm going to learn because that's half the other fun of doing LARP is we learn new skills. That's the rad thing about being LARPer is, is learning new skills. I'm, I'm gonna learn how to rehair a, a bow and it's gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna feel less bad about screwing this up if I do. I can actually, um, I already ordered it from Amazon. You can get violin bow hair, like the whole kit for rehairing a bow. Hello. I'm trying to, I'm sorry, I'm trying to read names from here. I think I'm seeing Beatriz. Hi, Beatriz. Okay, so there's that. I know I'm stalling, I'm stalling, I'm stalling. Let's go. Pretty decent packaging. Go away. Go away. Yay! 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 It's exciting. Oh, little. 
This is my skeptical face that this is actually a troll. I asked them for the measurements. Well, maybe, I don't know, just maybe tiny case. No, 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 this might be okay. This might be okay. I gotta think about what I want to, oh, are you kidding? It is a three quarter. It's not a full, but that's okay. You know what? <laughs> it's a three quarter. I was wondering, I was like, mm, these measurements don't, mm. anyway, it's a three quarter. That is okay. It's not gonna have the full sound of a full violin, uh, but um, here's the other thing is as I mod it, it's, it's gonna change the sound of the violin anyway. Um, and like my, my story with this character is I was trying to think of how would a character in a post-apocalyptic setting find a get a hold of a violin? Would they inherit it? Would they um, would they inherit it? Would they find it? Like what what is the story? So I decided that she found it at a school. So the fact that it's a three quarter actually really makes sense. I think I'm gonna run with this. This is fine. This is this is fine. Let's see how it sounds though. Let's see how it sounds so real. That's that's actually cool too. That's compact. This is, you, you hear the disappointment in my voice. I am a little disappointed that it's not full size. Yeah, um, I could mod the case. That That is something, sweet nightmare, yes. Uh, modding the case is definitely an idea. I've also, um, I've started a Pinterest board on this character and I have a sub board for this that is specifically the violin. Um, and uh, you'll see what, oh my God, it's so little, it's so cute. Okay, I actually kind of like how little and cute it is. It's kind of adorable. Oh, sweetie. Oh, 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 oh God. I swear the picture had, I swear the picture had the bridge on it. The fact that they repacked it with the bridge off of it. I, Let's check if the sound post is still there. You can tell if the sound post, yes, it's still intact, thank goodness. Oh, it's so wee. It's so wee. This is gonna be fun to adjust to. <laughs> it's so wee. I'll show you the difference of the, the sizes. Let's, we, it's okay, we can get this, we can get the bridge back on real fine. Um, one of the problems with taking the bridge off and the worry about the sound posts is this is all, the tension of the violin keeps the sound post on and the sound post is what's considered the soul of the violin. You can even move the sound post of a violin, there are tools to do it, uh, without even cracking open the violin. I used to think you had to crack open the violin to do it, but no, you can actually work in the F holes. Everyone giggle. Um, and, oh, yeah, that's okay. That's all right, baby, we'll be fine. All right. I may not have the perfect positioning of this yet, but it kills me. I freaking sent this. It's fine. They really have it there. Other thing I will be doing, uh, one way to, as, as they say, pimp out your violin is uh, the strings that you'll be using. Um, I'm just going to use some, some dominance. Whoa, hi, explosion of chat that I need to catch up on. What is what LARP is going to be used for? This is going to be used for Apocalypse 47. It's a post-apocalyptic LARP. <laughs> I know, weird. A violin in a post How would a violin survive the, the apocalypse? Well, I've decided there was probably a school in the mountains somewhere, and um, it was somehow protected from the blast and all the other crap going on, and um, she found it. Oh, this is fun. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to line up the bridge to, there's little mid markings in the F hole. Um, everyone giggle. Get that last one. I'm giggling inside. Okay. That's fine. Um, it's funny every time. I'm trying to, okay. So you want to line it up there roughly. I, I may rework work with this. Um, my plans with this violin, otherwise, I plan to paint it white. 
Um, I think I've decided to paint it white and I'm going to basically do a uh, Alphonse Mucha um, tribute um, on it uh, to all uh, this. The story behind this character is um, she she has a leaning towards, um, so she's basically a lore monkey. She um, has a bunch of memories to do with like kind of leaning Catholicism. Um, real life, I'm an atheist, if that even matters. Um, but then uh, she, uh, she finds basically the lore on all the patron saints, you know, and she then links that to like her memories of basically Catholicism. Um, and she decides music and she loves music and she she finds basically the patron saint of of music, which is Saint Cecilia. And she's basically going to do a homage to Saint Cecilia on this violin. Um, so that's what's going on there. My plan for that uh, with the story of Saint Cecilia, she is represented by um, sometimes a violin. As it turns out, that was a really weird coincidence when I was doing research about this. And roses and lilies. Roses and lilies. So we're going to do like a, a rose and lily motif. Um, probably a decoupage. Ask more questions. I'm going to check in on the questions. Uh, can you the case? We went there. That one. Oh. Oh, yeah. Cool. That would be red. Beatrice, yeah. Um, it is starting up this month, actually. It's first game. Oh, huh. all right. Um, and my tuner. I'm using my phone as a tuner. There's an app for everything. My, my normal tuner is with my kit for um, what I'm using out at the Ren Fair. And I just keep all that together because I don't want to forget anything like my shoes last week whoa why why add no okay let's change this puppy then we're going to compare it to the other violins so you can get a get a like feel of what or let's see <laughs> loose on this. There we go. I need to get some peg goo. It needs peg goo. It'll keep slipping. Come on. That was the bridge. It's okay. I had the same problem with my electric. I also have another electric besides that one that I modded to be an electric. I didn't mod it, I took it someplace to get it modded for it. Um, I always had this problem. Da, 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 da. Okay, part of the problem is, this is so slippery. Also, um, one other issue about this bridge, I might have to shave down the bridge. If you look down the bridge, um, it's a little taller than the, the finger board. Um, you don't want that. You want this to actually line up to the same height of, yeah, the bridge is a bit tall. guys for hanging out with me. Did I seriously do that? Put 
it on backwards, it's fine. Okay. I know these. <gasps> Horrible, horrible sound, and it like it's getting hot in my garage. It's warm here in California right now. It's getting warm. Can, can El Nino come back? That'd be great. We got so much rain, it was amazing. Do, do, do. that's not right so i'm looking at the memory of where the strings are kind of bent which i do plan to replace these um and ooh. hold this down I almost want to trade out these <laughs> with my pegs. My other violins are. Was the Easter egg, man. <gasps> well, that was the Easter egg, and it snapped. Okay. Um, I know where my extra strings are, but they are not in here. I should have had extra strings in here, like a smart person. So this is why it's better to get other. Oh, yay. Roommate to the rescue. Um, they are, if you go into the music corner, there's my case. And uh, my case has a set um, in the, the case, the side pouch. <laughs> Thank you, Lorena. Thank you. Yay, roommates. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Oh boy. It's going to be, those strings are going to be a little too long, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. Hopefully I don't break another freaking string. That was the bridge. This is fun. This is fine. Funny, I don't break strings like this on my normal violins. Like this is this is kind of the problem getting the cheap violin. Uh, roommate to the rescue. Roommate to the rescue. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. Yeah, and I just got some cheapy preludes because um you know what? God while we're at it, it's almost like I might as well change the whole thing out. It's fine. Do, do, do. Anybody get some more questions? <laughs> more sad trombone every time a, a string breaks. Yeah. Yeah. Strings break, it happens. It's a thing. Sometimes it's kind of like when you're on stage and it breaks. Um, sometimes that's kind of like, yeah, rock and roll. We do the thing. All right. Come here. Thank you. 
thank goodness I have good eyesight here. So if uh wait, wait, wait. I wanna was it Easter egg? And and you do you a fiddle player, violin player? Uh. Leftovers at the other stream. Why did they have to shoot this with it? Uh, I mean, honestly, it probably would have been popping off anyway. Make me wonder, did somebody get this for Christmas and then just give up? Yeah, I need to get three quarter strings. This is gonna be, we'll see if we can make this work. We're gonna try to make this work. It will work. It's fine. Three quarter violin. I'm trying to come up with a name for this violin. I'm not sure what it's gonna be called yet. But um, I've never really officially named my. Um, I think the check. Oh, we'll we'll get into the. I have on the table over there. That's a German violin on the furthest um, edge um, and then the one in, next to it is a Czech violin that my parents got at a estate sale for 20 bucks um, and then I had a, um, a an electric pickup put on it so that I could plug in and be heard while I play with my band um, I'm actually starting to question did they put the right strings in the right spot and I'm not talking about they being you know who sent it to me I'm talking about whoever looking at the thickness right now of these strings yes okay they are correct <laughs> so the body of the violin is so freaking new and like slippery <laughs> it's part of the reason why it keeps popping off and i kind of want to rough things up a little bit so it'll stay i want to get all my rosin is with my Too. Oh, let's pull this puppy up so that it doesn't buzz. Okay, <laughs> can you please stay? Please, please stay. Please. All right, let's try not to break a string this time. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, come on. These pegs are a pain in the butt. I think they're the first thing I'm going to mod so they freaking stay. They need some goo. There is goo you can buy that allows you to um, it's let the peg stick. I mean, granted, this came all the way in transit, Minnesota, so it's it's a pretty grumpy violin right now. Um, my my violins get pretty grumpy in the heat or ch any change of weather. I 
feel like I'm building a, a house of cards with this <laughs> with this bridge because it really wants to slip. Hey, we're almost at an A on the E string. It's cool. We're at a D on the E string. Sessie, I'm butchering it. I'm sorry. Vinny the violin. I feel like I need to get an Italian violin now, which those sound great too. Italian violins sound wonderful. Um. Yes, yes, you can see me freaking <laughs> Come on, we're in an F sharp. I need to go up to an A. Come on. Come on. Come on, puppy. How are we doing on the bridge? Bridge is actually feeling pretty good. Okay, okay, we're doing well. Get that, that D up. Hey. This is when we make G-string jokes. Get it out of your system. Come on. I mean, F holes and G-strings. Wait, am I supposed to flag this as an adult show if I'm talking about this stuff? No, it's cool. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Any other questions for the, the like, violin and... Uh, I want this to a D. We just need the D. It's, you know, as I'm tuning it, it actually has, it does have a nice sound even just plugging it. It's pretty warm. I like my violins warm. I do. And that's why I go for German violins, because they're dark and warm. We lose our G already. Yeah, we lost our G. This is always a pain in the butt. Once you get your your strings locked in, it's not this pro. It's not this hard. Like, like you'll have a little bit of adjusting to do. Some of these pegs. Square. tips if you are um, you have your fine tuners down here if those are getting wound down too much that's when you need to um, work with um, why is my brain playing the violin for six, six years old and I want to call them the nuts Thank 
Uh, the other thing that can get a really tricky with strings and if they keep whomping out on you like this is it could just be the strings. Fine. These are probably the factory violin strings, which is always another reason to just change out your strings when you ever get a violin from like Amazon or something. No offense to Amazon, it's just the thing. It is the Mac. I should stop trying to hold my breath on, on doing this, and if I break a string, I got extras. It's cool. I've got two other sets. It's fine. We are so close on the D. Ah, hey, no fine tune. That's an F sharp right now. Yeah, he slipped. Come on. Once I get these going, I'm going to play every single one of the violins on here, and we're going to compare them, but we got to get this going. That's what the word was. It was so simple. Peg. I'm not flustered. It's fine. There we go. <gasps> Curses! <sighs> okay. You know what? You know what we're going to do? Hold on. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go get some, um, some people would really curse. But you know what? We're going to be modding this thing anyway. I'm going to go get some sandpaper so this thing sticks. Sticks, I will be right back. Hold on. I'm roughing this up a little bit so that the frickin' bridge will stay. Where did it go? Where did it pop off to? I should've, oh, there it is. What genres of music have I played? I um, I started off playing uh, when I was six with uh, Suzuki Method, which is in my review of Ways to Learn Violin. Um, it is like tablature for violin. It, you don't really learn theory. You learn how to play really awesome classical pieces um, and don't really understand theory. Uh, I, I had to like basically learn theory when I was 12, I was getting frustrated and told my parents, I'm not learning how to actually read music with this. Um, but I started off with classical. So I play a lot of classical, but I also, when I was 12 said, I want to play fiddle. Um, I mostly like Celtic fiddle is my favorite, which is why I'm in a Celtic band. Uh, I would like to learn more bluegrass. Um, that would be cool. 
I also want to be better at like improving. So I'm again, since I'm weak on on theory, uh, my improv skills with the violin is nah, not great. So what's she doing? Oh, um, I am unboxing a. I am unboxing a violin that I bought online from a thrift store in, was it Minnesota? Minnesota? It's over here. It was Minnesota, Goodwill in Minnesota. They, there is shopgoodwill.com um, auctions where you can bid on stuff like violins as it, as it were. There were some really, really pretty vintage violins, but I wanted to have a violin that I wouldn't mind being out in the elements at LARP and wouldn't mind modding. So I bought this violin for $12. Shipping was quite a bit extra, it was 30, but it was still cheaper than trying to get this thing new. And usually if you walk into a thrift store and right off the bat, it will be at least $40. 40 is the lowest I've ever seen a violin at a thrift store. Of course, my parents beat me at a on um, prices at a at an estate sale for twenty. No shipping, altogether twenty bucks for a violin, and it's a pretty decent violin. Um, come on. Well, I'm really hoping that we can get to actually playing this thing. If not, I will play my other fiddles and talk to you about it. And, We'll see. Maybe we'll do an update date later about where this thing has been and how's it going. And, but it'd be really cool if I can get it working and playing for you guys here and now. That'd be really awesome. I think the bridge is too high. That's the big thing. We might be having bridge problems. It's probably the big thing. Like, I'm feeling how high this thing is. I might have to order a new bridge. We were so close to getting it, all of them. I had one more string to tune, one. And the bridge decided to just pop off. Come on. I feel like this is where the big problem we're having is the top nut <sighs> is keeps slipping and then we lose our um, and then we lose our attention on the bridge is why we've been popping out actually.
I do, yes, yeah, I might end up doing that. Uh, I might, but for now, I at least took the sanding block and made it a little rougher on the um, face of the violin. So it's like some violin maker out there is screaming, I'm sure. us trouble and every time we get to this one the bridge pops One more string to go. One more. We got one more. God, I really wish I had peg goo. I want peg goo so bad. string come on e string come on you're like the main string you're like the one that every freaking song needs come on a string oh, i hate this i hate this peg right now this peg is the bane of my existence right now i'm like looking around thinking like what else can i use to gum up this peg Gum this peg up. Why don't I have that in my kit? Well, because I kind of lost it. I don't know where it is. Broke the A string. Almost there. You got this. Yes, thank you for the encouragement. Yes, yes, and we have backup strings because factory BS strings. Okay, you are. What's your color code? Did you come with the color code? Not tell me, but it looks like an E string. And we already used the E string, so by the powers of deduction. We were so close. It just couldn't take the tension. I feel bad for the person who was trying to learn on this. Poor kid, you know? Strings probably breaking all the time. 
wonder if they even got it tuned no looks like they did i mean like somebody obviously did tape for them they had a teacher Yeah, I'm going to have to get still new strings for this because um, these are for full size because I was expecting a full size to show up. It ended up being a three quarter, even though I asked them for the, you know, um, they wouldn't, they didn't say what size it was. Um, they just gave me the dimensions and I wasn't really trusting their um, um, their measurements. So I still went with it, took a chance. It's a three quarter, it's still gonna be fine. It's, I'm gonna feel less guilty about modding it. It's gonna be great. We are still going to enjoy the crap out of this violin. It's just gonna be my awesome, fun little, and maybe like, I don't know, maybe some kid might inherit this later, you know? I'm not saying like I'm right now, no, I'm, I'm just saying, like, maybe maybe when I'm I'm done with it, I'll give it to somebody or something, and somebody else is going to enjoy how awesome it is. But right now... Let's see. Maybe... Yeah. Think about it. Think about the name of this violin. I like, I like the abbreviation that was suggested earlier. Um, like Cess, short for Cecilia. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's do this. Now we just have, you know, when we had the snap happen, I totally thought the bridge just popped off again. That's what I thought happened. And you roughen, the, okay, hold on, did the prip, you know, I wish I read that comment earlier. We'll give it one more go. And if that doesn't happen, I'm gonna take that suggestion. I might take that suggestion. Roughen peg, let me try to roughen peg. Let's see if I can get in there with this. No, okay, we're gonna just try one more time with this. And um, if it slips again, we're taking that suggestion. I'm already just starting to like, I should have just, you know what? Since we've had to go through all this, I'm now like regretting just not replacing all the strings, which I'm gonna do anyway, but. This is already so much easier with other strings, as it turns out. Strings make the difference. Oh my God. What happened to you? Um, if you ever, if these ever get too tight and too rough to, to deal with, um, a fiddle shop told me take chapstick and just lube it with chapstick. Right now. This needs definitely some chapstick. Too loose up here, too tight down here. Nah. But we have an A string. It's almost all there. Just fine tuning and we're good to go. It has a nice bright little sound just so far hearing, hearing the plucking. I'm, I'm very happy with this. Come on, come on, almost there. G? No, it, I'm not surprised the G slipped again. This is my, why can't you just stay bass? This is going to be really interesting um, switching between a full size and a three quarter because my hand position, it's just going to be a little bit smaller. My wee violin, my whittle fiddle, the whittle fiddle. 
I'll call it itty bitty pretty one. Itty bitty pretty one. Stop being a G sharp. Now you're an F sharp. Can you please get a G? sure it's holding tune. It's a little sharp. It's okay. It's a little sharp on the A. We're okay. I would just rather we're sharp on the G. Come on. We're there. We did it! <laughs> it's tuned! Yay! I have a little whiskey right here and I'm definitely gonna... It's tuned. Yay. Oh god, yay. Oh, let's see how she sounds. <sighs> That's going to be the other thing um, I've decided with this character is no shoulder rest. So I'm going to try to figure out what's going to be either a post-apocalyptic shoulder rest for her. Um, yeah, she's going to be self-taught. So she, she finds a school. She finds a violin or a couple, but she chooses one. Um, yeah. Apparently she chose a small one. It's fine. Um, and then uh, she finds some what's called glyph stacks. Books in this game are called glyph stacks. There aren't many, and there's a certain type of people who she is, the Discovery. Uh, they go and try to seek knowledge and find glyph stacks. Um, so either I'm going to play without a shoulder rest, or I will. Also, it's also cramped. <laughs> it's a little cramped. So used to like. It takes a lot less effort to go from string to string, so I'm gonna have to get used to that. Um, there's just a little, little, little less. Um, movement needed to get from string to string. Very nice ring on the E. It is a nice little sound in the end. Yeah, I'm trying to get from that string to that string. Okay. Oven mitt hand towel. Oh, hand towel. Oh, 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 that's brilliant. I like it. Yes, I have admit our hand towel for the, the shoulder rest. Okay, cool. Let's play something pretty on it.
really hard not to hit that E string. That's going to take some practice. Um, cool. She sounds pretty decent. Like, I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, let me try that. The, what I really like is hearing how the uh, lower end sounds. <laughs> she sounds um compared to let's go down the line let's go with the check this one when my parents got this i swear it sounded different i had um some i had a pit basically a pickup bridge uh put up on on it and um they also the shop i, I took it to suggested making a couple other modifications to it like uh replaning the fingerboard which I think I regret uh, ever since. I, I have a video that I might try to share because I swear it sounded different before it went into that shop. Um, when it came back, in my opinion, it sounded like an old timey, an old timey record. That's my best example of what it sounds like to me when I played this violin, which isn't bad. It sounds better when it's plugged in and it goes through like, you know, modifications on the soundboard, but otherwise acoustically, to me, it sounds like an old timey violin, which is, you know, a thing on itself. Do you use cat gut? It's really expensive to use cat gut, and I would rather not use cat gut for kitties, to be honest. <laughs> Czech violin sounds like, and um, they're, they're pretty decent, pretty awesome, but not my favorite. Here's my favorite. This one's my favorite. Well, hi, this is my favorite one. This is the one that I've had since um, my parents, when I we did Rent to Own, um, back when a place called Jack's House of Music in Sacramento, California used to be alive, and it's no longer alive. And they used to have um, a program where if you were taking violin lessons, it didn't matter if it was private lessons or whatever, you could rent violins from them. And you basically built up credit. And eventually you had a certain amount of credits that then you could, once you grew into a full-size violin, basically cash in those credits for an actual full size. And we took my teacher um, to the shop and she tried out all the violins and she chose this one and i've loved it ever since this is the one i i take to fair with me this is why i have this strap on it uh the strap is so that i can and i also usually have this little like sling here for my for my bow so that uh when i'm on stage and we're doing songs that i don't play to and getting people to clap along i call them the happy clappies <laughs> so i can do the happy clappy songs with people and i don't have to hold on to things um but this one's my favorite. This is what a German violin sounds like. I like German violins a lot. Yeah, the resonance. Um, and it will vary from even when you're holding a violin, like when you're just holding it and playing it, they all vibrate differently. Um, there's 
there's one other violin that I, I held a couple weeks ago that I had to say bye to because it was too expensive, but I got to play it and it was beautiful. And it had this carving on the back that was of a city. And then the scroll was the face of a bearded man. It was so pretty and it just went holding it and playing it in the way that it, it resonated, even in my body as I played, was just so amazing. But yeah. tune is actually still in my noggin that I actually have memorized. before was all the extra squeaks in between that I'm going to have to um, either do some modifications to or relearn how to play this one specifically because it is smaller. Um, I'm actually considering even a smaller bow or choking up. I'm, I could just choke up on my bow. That's a possibility. Oh, Danny, boy, uh, do I have that one memorized? <laughs> strings in this violin. Um, yeah, I'm going to think about what I'm going to do about that. Mm -hmm. I might actually talk to, I still have a teacher that I, I study uh, with because I, I still have a lot to learn. What happened in my education of violin is I started when I was six, went to 12, um, and then I basically took a break until my last year or so in college, I did one term of symphony um, and then kind of literally fiddled around for a few years until I found my current teacher and also joined a, a band, which performing live with a band, that'll get you back on your feet and trying to do things right uh, real fast. So um, my teacher might have some suggestions on what to do, or he might be like, get another violin. No, it's, yeah, it's fine. Um, cool. Um, okay, so 
Any other questions about the violin? Because otherwise, what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to paint it white. We're going to do a tribute to St. Cecilia on it for this character. Um, and it's going to be in the Alphonse Mucha style, and which is Art Nouveau. I'm going to basically do some Art Nouveau lilies and roses, I think, on it. So that's what I'm going to do. Bless you for trying. <laughs> yeah, it's all about trying. Um, otherwise, I think I think that's it for now. There will be, I'm going to definitely do some updates on this because there's stuff to figure out. Yeah. Yeah, I want to love it. I want to love it a lot. We'll, we'll work on getting it into, we'll give it some love. We're going to give this some love. It's going to get some love. And it'll be awesome. It's going to be awesome. And I'm going to show you what's going on along the way. I'm going to sign off for now. Thank you all for exploring this with me. Thank you for all your patience on all the times that the strings broke or the the bridge hopped off, which is always, a t honestly, a terrifying, terrifying feeling. Um, yeah, because you never know. You could always lose your sound peg on that. So anyway, we're going to sign off. Thank you. See you guys soon. What got me into Irish folk? Uh, last question. Um, I, well, having a, a, it's Irish folk, I just, it's part of the, the whole, like, coming from a Celtic culture. Um, yay. My last name's Jameson. Um, and that's that's the Scottish Jameson, actually. Um, and, well, just, I, it's always, I, I, I just like Irish music. And um, I know I just said Scottish, but Irish, the whole Celtic music, Irish music, Scottish music. I love it all. So, yeah. Um, that's, that's really what got me into it. And, uh, Sportive Tricks is the band I'm with and they're awesome. They're like a family. They are a family. And yeah. anyway, good night guys. I keep having these questions. Goth Nouveau? Uh, I'm going to, uh, not Goth Nouveau. We're going to just go with Art Nouveau. Because I'm going with a, a, a off-white and white theme with this. Okay, good night. <laughs>